One of Ukraine's opposition leaders has described the president's offer of a key government post as a poisoned attempt to kill off the protest movement. There's been a pause in the demonstrations in central Kiev to allow for ceremonies to be held for two protesters shot dead last week. One saw the funeral of a young Belarusian man who lived in Ukraine and, according to friends, would have been 26 on Sunday. President Yanukovych promised senior opposition figures the role of prime minister and deputy prime minister, but leaders said they would press for more concessions. The opposition wants early presidential elections, political prisoners released and a free trade agreement with the EU. Yanukovych has also hinted at changes to new anti-protest laws, but this demonstrator says we won't leave till he and his government resign. Both sides are now looking ahead to a special parliamentary session on Tuesday, which one opposition leader said could be decisive. Meanwhile, demonstrators have been clearing up a government hall in central Kiev after violence erupted earlier. A large crowd attacked the hall after an estimated 200 police officers were seen entering it. One protester said the building belonged to the Ukrainian people, not corrupt authorities. Demonstrators later claimed to have found bullets left by police, which the government denied. Saturday saw anti-government protests continue to spread to other cities outside the capital.